here's the area that I have to work with in my small kitchen. I have always wanted to decorate my kitchen in the holiday season, but never knew what to do until I came across this cute idea this year to create a hot cocoa or hot chocolate bar. I thought the concept was so cute and perfect, especially since my son and I love drinking hot cocoa. I am going to wipe off my countertops with my lemon scented Myers cleaning spray and get started creating the look. Call me crazy if you like, but I wanted to add greenery and lights to this space without adding a lot of decor pieces. So I purchased this 9 foot pre-lit garland from Walmart and it was under $12 if I remember correctly. But it framed the countertop so beautifully. Plus without taking up a lot of space because I still need room to prep and cook meals, I held the garland in place by adding command hooks and securing it so it wouldn't move around. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Now it's time to decorate the coffee side of this bar. I placed my Keurig back in this pretty jar that says Milk for Santa I bought from Hobby Lobby. When I was thinking of a theme for this idea, I knew I wanted to do traditional Christmas colors of red and green, so this jar was perfect. I also saw this beautiful gingerbread lady sitting on a shelf at Hobby Lobby, and she was too cute to pass on, so I got her. Her legs dangled, so she is originally supposed to sit on an edge, but I placed her on top of the jar so she could be seen. So let's just say majority of my items you will see in this video came from Hobby Lobby. I love black Santa decor and he is a utensil holder, but I have other plans for Santa this year. This little plaque reads cuddle in a cup and I thought it would be great to have on the coffee side of this bar and I'm going to place it to the side of my Keurig. When I saw this mug, it matched me perfectly because I do love hot chocolate. That's why I love this season so much, so I can drink as many cups of hot cocoa as I want to and not feel guilty. sign here I saw at Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago and I wanted it but I had no idea where I would put it so I didn't get it then but once I decided to do a hot cocoa bar in my small space I knew I needed it and I'm just placing the sign behind the garland. Here are some white mugs with Christmas words wrote on them. They are mini size so I thought this would be just cute to add to the cocoa side of this hot cocoa bar. Obviously, like you can't drink any cocoa from them, but I thought it was just cute and I wanted to add it for decoration. This little lady came from the Gingerbread Owl in Hobby Lobby, and when I saw all of those decor, I just wanted to do a full out gingerbread theme. But I do have a small space, so I couldn't do it elaborately. But I do have these two little ladies that are decorating my countertop space so nice. Okay, so here are three items that are not from Hobby Lobby. I got these three jars from the Dollar Tree. These hot chocolate bombs came from the Dollar Tree, and I like the concept of having the cocoa powder in a jar. 
It's aesthetically pleasing, but for me, I wouldn't know how much to scoop out for a great cup of hot chocolate. So I'll just stick with the package that I use. But I have never seen one of these work, and I know my son would be excited to see it as well, so I picked up quite a few of them. Then next, I'm just going to add some peppermint sticks if I decide to use one to stir my cocoa with. Santa Claus pull up, come get the loot. Santa Claus pull up, come get the loot. You better be watching what you do. None of that list you got, they go go through. Are you being good, having you? Santa Claus pull up, come get the loot. You better be watching what you do. None of that list you got, they go go through. You being good, having you. I'm not trying to put demons in your mind. I just wanna wish you a good night. Hope you get the cream with the pot. And what's under the tree hit your back. Now time for the next jar, which is going to be my cookie jar. Don't get me wrong, I love a good Oreo, but here lately I've been really into chocolate chip cookies and my favorite are chips ahoy. So I'm just filling the jar to have a sweet treat alongside our cocoa. And no hot cocoa bar can be complete without marshmallows, so the largest jar is the most important condiment. To bring just a little more festivity to the space, I hung these wreaths I bought from the Dollar Tree with some command hooks, and I like how it added more holiday spirit to the kitchen. Here is the completed look of my coffee slash hot cocoa bar. I had a small space to work with, so I wanted to keep the decor close to minimum from cooking prep, but I am loving how this turned out. I will show you what it looks like with the lights off and the garland lit. But thank you so much for watching, and subscribe if you would like to. Check out more of my holiday videos that are coming soon. And yeah, I had a blast decorating this, and I can't wait to do it again next year. And I can't wait to see you in another video. So again, thank you for watching and Merry Christmas. Oh.